Well, it happened. In a span of three days, Devin Booker might have just became a superstar. And this is totally justified. To say Devin Booker has been the best player in the postseason this year would not be that crazy to say. In a postseason littered with players like LeBron James, Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, who's literally his teammate, Devin Booker has outshined every single one of those players. And yet, this entire run he's been on right now could have meant nothing if it wasn't for the past two games. So about three days ago, I made a video talking about Nikola Jokic being a defensive genius, where in the video, I broke down Denver's defense and what they're doing to Phoenix. And I still do believe that some of the things I talked about in that video are still true to this day. I mean, I know Devin Booker damn near had 50 in game three, but they were able to lock down KD for the most part. And I know, but Specs, didn't he have like 40? Well, yeah, but he shot like 50% on like 31 attempts, not to mention he shot a lot of free throws. So for context, that video did hold some legitimacy. However, it does not look that good after what just happened in game four. This is a Devin Booker video, so I'm mostly going to be talking about it. But real quick, I think Kevin Durant is playing extremely well compared to how he started off. Like, I think a lot of people just assume, oh, Kevin Durant is done. What happened last year is happening again. But I think KD is a lot more comfortable and we're finally going to be seeing the version of him that Phoenix traded for. Now, after making that Denver video, something that I did not account for was Devin Booker to have back to back games where he shot over 75 percent and had like damn near 40 points in each game. Trust me, the fact that Devin Booker is averaging like 36 in the playoffs this year is very impressive. But the fact that it's on amazing efficiency, I think just tells a lot more of what Booker is. For context, a player that is always in conversations with Devin Booker is Luka Doncic. And last year, I would argue Luka had his best playoff run in his career. And in that playoff run, he averaged about 32 points per game on about 46% from the field, while also shooting about 35% from three. Whether you like Luka or not, we can all admit those are amazing stats. However, Devin Booker is playing a lot better than Luka did last year, which I didn't even realize. In these playoffs so far, Booker is averaging about 37 points per game while shooting about 62% from the field. Oh, and he's shooting about 51% from three. Now, I'm not trying to start the conversation of, oh, Devin Booker is better than Luka because that is not a conversation I want to start. And also, I'm not trying to prop up one player and tear down another. However, I do think we need to show how well Booker's been as a scorer this year because he's elevating his game to somewhere not a lot of people thought he could take it. And I think the funniest part about this is that Devin Booker said it in an interview after game four that he's thrown all that efficiency out the window and he's told the same to Kevin Durant. You know, I always say and it's something that I'll tell KD like throw that efficiency shit out the window. I don't I don't care about that. Um, just keep going, you know, keep keep attacking. Which makes a lot of sense on why KD's been taking a lot of shots, but shit, I respect it. Now, when I mentioned earlier that that Denver Nuggets video did still hold some validity, there was parts of the video that haven't. And that was Devin Booker being able to beat the coverage of Denver. Denver's been playing great coverage on him and they're double teaming him a lot. However, Booker is a smart player and he's been able to not really be affected by them after the past two games, which is why I've always reminded people that it's a seven game series, not a three, not a five, not a one. It is a seven game series. So despite Denver going up 2-0, I didn't think the series was over. Well, my podcast did. I'm gonna say this, it's not over. We gotta see the it's over. Win. We gotta see a road team win. We gotta see it's a over. It's, not, it's not over. It's not over. Mike is coming into the frame. I think it's over. Which, if you haven't seen that episode, go check it out. But I was kind of defending the Suns. Not to mention the points that I made, they're starting to come true. Playing guys like TJ Warren and Terrence Ross, they're actually doing that. And it's been working. Also, because Denver is doubling Booker, he just has an opportunity to pass it out to guys who can get open shots. And Phoenix has guys that can make those shots. And now that the series is 2-2, two to two, people are starting to have conversations that, well, I'm going to be here for. Now, over the past couple days, I've been trying to have the conversation of what is stopping Devin Booker from being a superstar. From just about every single person I've ever talked to, there's usually about seven to eight superstars in the NBA at a time. And I know recency bias is definitely going to factor in to a degree, but I'm genuinely curious because there's been a narrative about Booker for the longest of time and people have been so 
afraid to rank him as a great player, even top 10. And the problem about the NBA is that once you have a narrative that is negative in your way, that it's going to be very hard to recover from. Like for most of his career, Devin Booker has been said that he is a terrible defender. But if you've been watching the playoffs this year, you know that's not true. In fact, people are just now starting to learn that Booker is an above average defender. Now, what I love about this run is that people are finally all on the same page about Devin Booker, which I don't think I've ever seen. Booker's entire career, this man has been subjected by the media as just a wannabe Kobe and someone who's overrated, someone who gets empty stats. I mean, have you seen this screenshot? Like, what the fuck? I'm not gonna lie, these conversations are great, but I honestly believe if Phoenix comes back from 2-0, which the series now tied, it's a three game series. If Phoenix wins this series, and we're all gonna know the main reason why, I think we have to start talking about Devin Booker being a top five or a superstar at least in the NBA. Because the craziest part about this is that last night's game was considered an average game for Devin Booker this year, and at least in the playoffs. Everyone called last night a masterclass, and quite frankly, I think it was a masterclass. But if we're going off just points per game, that was considered an average game. Not to mention on doing on some of the best efficiency I have ever seen. Now, the unfortunate reality is I do think if the Suns lose this series, which to be honest, I honestly thought was going to happen after the first two games. But if Phoenix loses this series, I don't know if people are going to continue to talk about Booker as much as they are. Now, I might piss off a lot of people for what I'm about to say, but I'm going to just say it. After game two, an altercation happened where Devin Booker and Bruce Brown were getting into it. It was like towards the end of the game. It was basically over. I then went into a space with AJ Hilgen, one of my friends on Twitter. And during that space, I kept saying one phrase and one phrase only. And if you saw the Suns and Mavs series, you probably know what I'm going to say. Everybody want to act tough when they up. As much as I hate the Mavericks, as much as Luka Doncic pissed me off when he said that, but it's true. Everybody wants to act tough when they're up. And Denver was up and they thought they were tough. But with all due respect, Phoenix in these past two games have shown that they're not going to take this disrespect. I mean, Booker has played way better than he was before, and Booker was the best player in the postseason. Kevin Durant is finally starting to get his groove on this team. The bench has been playing a lot better. And Landry Shamit, when did this man become great value Devin Booker? The thing about superstars is they have this one moment, a moment that defines them and puts them in history and shows that they're not going to back down from a challenge. And I'd argue Luka last year had his moment versus Phoenix. But I think Booker has matured as a player and he's having his moment right now. Oh, and to prove I'm not having a LeBron moment, I literally posted this at least a couple minutes after game two ended. So if y'all see Phoenix come back from 2-0 and end up winning the series in six or seven, well, I think you know the moment that caused this and the moment that awakened Devin Booker to become a superstar. That or it was Bad Bunny taking his girl. <laughs> nah, but for real, I think Devin Booker is coming to a level that we've never seen him enter and I wouldn't be surprised if because of him Phoenix goes deeper than we thought oh and also by the way uh, I should let you guys know that there's an actual chance that Nikola Jokic gets suspended for game five honestly I did not see that coming but if it does happen well uh yeah it's Suns and six. Oh, and there's one thing I forgot to mention Chris Paul is not even playing this is about to get very very interesting